Part one, describe the structure of tight junctions and gap junctions. Okay, cells with tight junctions are close together. They're flush next to each other. So they are, um, adjacent cells will be very close together. And they're held in place by proteins near the apical surface. Adjacent cells held close together by proteins, by a band of proteins near the apical surface. It, again, the apical surface is the surface that is going to be near the interior um, of a cavity or the lumen of a cavity. So the apical surface is going to be on this side, and the basolateral surface is going to be the other side of the cell, near apical surface. Gap junctions. So first, this is tight junctions. Gap junctions are connection or protein channels that allow the cells to pass substances directly from the cytoplasm of one cell to the cytoplasm of the other. So these are channels between proteins, between cells. Channels between cells. And they allow the transport of substances from the cytoplasm of one cell directly into the cytoplasm of the other. How do these differing structures reflect the functions of these two types of intercellular connections? Well, if we think about tight junctions, one function they have to, is to prevent the leakage of fluids. And this structure reflects that because since the cells on the apical, the, the side of the cell that is the apical side is going to be the side that is next to the liquid. So if there's liquid in here, you can prevent the leakage of fluids from between the cells by having them press next to each other. Otherwise, the fluid would just leak out, and then the cavity wouldn't really be very effective. Instead, with the tight junctions, the fluid is held into the space that it needs to be in. This also controls the passages of substances. Substances cannot just pass through here. The only substances that can get through are ones that the cell allows to cross. So that's tight junctions. Gap junctions have different functions. One function of gap junctions is electrical coupling. Electrical coupling is the coordination of charge between cells. And this occurs in the nervous system. Um, it also allows the heart to beat in a coordinated manner. Electrical coupling occurs when ions pass from cell to cell. Since they're charged, then they can pass that electrical signal along. So ions pass from cell to cell. And this occurs through gap junctions. So the structure of channels allows for that coordination 